Greetings, everyone. Uh, what we've got here today is our first introduction to using JavaScript uh, or P5.js to control the DOM, the document object model, in a web page. And the DOM is really the thing that gives structure to a website. It's the thing that sort of keeps it all in, in check. And what we're going to do here is we're going to look at how we can create HTML elements that can then control aspects of our sketch. So this is really useful for thinking about GUI objects, user interface things. Uh, in this particular example, what I've done is I've taken uh, some sliders, and I'll walk you through how I, how I do this. Uh, I've got some sliders here one for hue, one for saturation, one for brightness, and then we can control the background of our sketch this way, so we can find a really nice, super, here's a super saturated color here, super bright purple, here we go, NYU purple, I did this unintentionally. Um, we'll find something a little bit, there we go, nice, uh, a nice autumnal orange, right? So um, these, uh, these interface widgets could be used to control any parameter, so they could be really useful if you're building up a system and you're trying to tweak it so you find just the right things, if you want to change the size of objects or the rotation or scale of things. Um, this way you don't have to necessarily go into code, but you've got some really discrete control here over aspects and parameters inside of your sketch. So let's take a look at the code real quickly. Um, I've got uh, a couple variables up here. These first ones are for holding the slider objects in there. Uh, and then these are just for holding the values for hue, saturation, brightness. Uh, first, I'm creating my canvas. I've got the color mode set up here as HSB. Um, remember, HSB, by default, you get 360 values of hue around the color wheel. Uh, 100 values of brightness and 100 values of saturation. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create the sliders. And this is really similar to the way in which we would create an object. What we do is we say, uh, this is the name of our variable that we want to hold the slider. So we say, uh, and then we call create slider. And when we create it, we need to give it a couple values. It needs to have these arguments. The three arguments that it receives are the minimum value and the maximum value. And those are the only two that you absolutely need to have, but I really strongly recommend that you also include this third optional one, which is the default value. So uh, the lowest my slider, my first slider will be a zero, the highest will be 360, and then by default, it's gonna be right in the middle at 180. And so that's where it's gonna be to start every time I restart my sketch. Then I do the same thing here with saturation and brightness, except those are uh, values from zero to 100. Uh, and then after you create them, then you wanna position them in your sketch. Where does this live in your canvas? Uh, so um, this uh, is set by setting an attribute inside of there. So we use the dot notation. So I'm gonna say, you know, this slider dot position and then give it an X and Y coordinate. Uh, and so that determines, so it's X and then it's really the top this y, ver this y coordinate is really the top uh, part of this. It's not dead center on here. It's really the top left-hand corner of the element that we're looking at. Uh, so here I'm just spacing them out, and then I've got a couple variables that hold the color, right? And this and this is all you need to do to create it and draw it on screen. Uh, as soon as you do that, you'll be able to just like click and drag it around and move it. But in order to actually get the information out of here, and uh, do something with it. You need to, uh, in your loop or somewhere else, preferably in your loop, right? Uh, what you wanna do is you wanna read the value of the slider and then store that into a variable that you can use elsewhere. So here, um, I've just got some text that's just indicating hue, saturation, brightness, so I know what each of these sliders does. Uh, you can see I'm positioning them on the right-hand side of the slider by saying, uh, take the, um, the y value or the x value right and then uh, with a little bit of padding and then add the slider width right so you can get slider dot width slider dot height you can get those attributes out of there so i'm just saying like position this text to the right hand side of the slider um, and then uh, here 
I've got my three variables, hue, saturation, brightness. And I say, uh, by again, calling this dot notation, just like we were doing with objects previously, when we were accessing elements inside of there, remember when we were getting values, what we're doing right here is we're saying, get the value. Uh, so we say slider dot value, and that will store it inside of uh, our variable here. So as I click and drag and move this around, I'm getting the value of the slider and I'm storing it into this variable, which they then reuse to draw the background. And this can be used for any sort of variable that you want. It could be used for an attribute and object. Whatever uh, you can dream up, you can use this information for. After, so this is uh, an introduction. Sliders are great. They're really great for debugging things and messing with parameters. Uh, really useful when you're developing stuff. Maybe you want to leave some in for your users to adjust things. Uh, they're also really, once you're done, to just comment them out. Once you've mailed in whatever it is that you want your uh, values to be, you know, it's uh, a real simple thing. In fact, if we wanted to, we could actually say, uh, we could take these values here um, and we can put them into uh, our our text so we could actually see what the value is, right? So here we've got the hue, uh, here's the saturation, and here's the uh, brightness. And I'm just adding these on inside of the text string uh, that's being printed off to the right. Now if I save this, we can see here. So here's what the values are as I move and change them. Make this bright so we can see it, right? Make it saturated so it's a really nice, vibrant color. Uh, and so now I've got some, some debugging. I don't need to look in the console. I can just look here on screen. So this is a, a really helpful way for you to set various things and then manipulate them inside of your sketch. We'll look at input boxes, buttons, drop downs, uh, and check boxes in the subsequent videos. Um, we're lucky because the DOM used to be an external library. Now it's rolled directly into P5.js. Uh, so we don't need to like load anything external. We just go with what we've got. Uh, so uh, hopefully this helps out. It's a really useful thing uh, to me when developing things. Hopefully it is for you too.